Uh, Shalom. Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. All praise to the Father, which is uh, Yahweh, His Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. I'm going to say, Barak Da Yahweh. Barak Da Yahweh. Barak Da Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle, the Elders, Great Millstone, my salutation to the brothers, teaching bread for the hopeful elect, hopeful elect families, man. Like we said, it's downfall of America, uprising of Israel, and we're going to go into uh, Babylon is falling. Modern day Babylon is America. It's a city of confusion. We're going to get some related scriptures. How you know this is the uh, Babylon. And um, hopefully it's edifying. And we're going to get right into it with the uh, first scripture I mentioned. Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 68. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So this is Egypt. It uh, means the house of bondage. You can find that in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Um, and this is all relating to coming into America because this is also known as Egypt as well as Babylon. So again, in ships, that means it's going to be another captivity similar to the Egypt, but not that old Egypt. It's going to be a new Egypt. It talks about in Revelation, spiritual Egypt. So, you know, that was talking about this Egypt right here because you didn't need ships in Egypt back then to travel from, you know, Jerusalem to Egypt, whatever. They had camels and everything. So it's talking about another uh, uh, state of bondage, another state of uh, similar uh, bondage as in Egypt. And it's talking about modern day America, which now we're finding out, I mean, this is also modern day Babylon, this confusion. Go ahead. The Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with ships yep. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Yep. Thou shalt see it no more again. You shouldn't see it no more again, your homeland. Go ahead. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies. Right here in modern day Egypt, modern day Babylon. Go ahead. For bond men and bond women. Bond men and bond women right here as slaves. Those are slaves right there. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. Meaning redeem. It's a Greek word meaning redeem. No man shall buy you. And the Most High said we're not going to be redeemed with money. Any physical thing that a man could do but we're gonna be redeemed without money, without these physical things. And that implies them chariots, man, you know? But, you know, now we're still in house of bondage and all is, all around in this America is nothing but confusion, you know? Uh, lesbians, homosexuals, transgenders, what the hell is that? Babies, test tube babies, uh, that experiment with uh, a chip inside of human, you know, human bodies and all that. The human mind that's 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 confusion as hell man just by the by the names that they call us you know, yeah. african american american that's that's confusion, that's confusion. Yeah. we're confused about who we are as a people exactly right they literally beat it out of us they yeah. beat the language out of us they beat our culture yeah. our, our law statutes commandments even our power the most high the name of our power they beat it out of us yeah. so we're we're in a very confused state right now right and hopefully that we could get to where all those kingdoms and, and it has is in this the spirit of those kingdoms because America follows those kingdoms, the, the customs of those kingdoms. It's nothing new. It's a custom of Babylonian customs, custom of Egypt customs, you know, custom of uh, even when we were back in Syria, you know, a Syrian captivity, all those captivities, man. So now we're in the land of this confused place because we don't know who we are, like the brother said. Yep. Hey, bro, but, Salak, bro, uh, we're the only people who whose name been changed like every yeah. decade yeah. you know yeah. black yeah. afro afro-american Afro, yeah. yeah. negro african-american that's Colors. four that's four um uh, uh nationalities so-called nationalities that that's been put upon us you know in one place of captivity in one place of captivity because remember even back then they was calling moses they said aren't thou that egyptian but he said i'm a i'm a hebrew i'm a, I'm a uh, jew from the uh, city of Tarsus, right? Mm -hmm. From the tribe of Benjamin. So he made it clear that even though he was in uh, uh, Rome, he he was a Jew. We're in America, we Jews in America. Mm -hmm. Even though we can't, uh, diff like we said, different names, that don't mean nothing. Jake you is know. still, and even though Jake, when he protests, when he want to claim his blackness, awareness, he goes back to Egyptology and shit. Right. Being an Egyptian and shit, man, or African. African American. They said, you know, they use that code word in the riots. Look at these African Americans. They know we ain't African Americans. 
we've been in the news and everything as the real Jews, and they still won't address us as that. Yeah. So the Most High gonna destroy them for that, man. Yeah, it doesn't just apply just the Southern Kingdom, the Northern Kingdom. They're hella confused as well. Man. Yeah, they yeah. call themselves Mexicans, Mexicans. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. You know, Aztecs, Colombians, um, all that. Yeah. They're into all different types of gods, mm -hmm. all different types of idols. Man. Brown pride. Brown pride. You know, they're heavily confused as well, man. Yeah. This is a land of great confusion, man. Babylon right. the Great. Yeah. Go ahead. Was that it on there? Yeah. Isaiah 4 and 7, 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust of virgin. I got a quick one. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah 51. I'm going to start at. Um, Seven, it says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Yeah, they live. Oh, go ahead. It says, That hath made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her of her wine. Yeah. Therefore, the nations are mad. The nations are mad. And for one, Babylon is a golden cup because it's living in royalty. Man. This modern day America has lived deliciously and royally. And, and, and by the, uh, the by what it say again, uh, it says, all nations that the nations have drunk of the wine of her slop, have drunken mm. of her wine. Of her wine, her philosophies, her deceits, her democracy, her, her uh, methods of, of life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the customs of her lifestyle. Go ahead. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen. Suddenly fallen. This place is going to suddenly fall. This and is destroyed. A, and like destroyed. Mm -hmm. This is a, a replica of what happened to old Babylon, but it's going to be worse because this is the end of the world in the so-called white man's kingdom because now he taking all those uh those those names and those spirits on he's the true new egyptian now he's the new babylon uh, babylonian now he's the new because it, it, trump might as well be called the king of babylon he is you know go ahead it says howl for her howl for her go ahead take balm for her pain and uh oh i forgot about the, when they said the nations have taken the, all these nations believed in her uh, policies and democracy, her philosophies mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. you know, and been swept away by this desire. That's why all these nations over there are trying to come over here, live their free, so-called freedom and liberty. Right. So they drinking of that that mm -hmm. that that uh, foreign, I mean that uh, the wine, her wine. Yeah, I mean, look, look at the Ammonites there, the Asians, mm -hmm. the Greeks, yeah. you know. That's not their garb. They're wearing suits, ties, mm -hmm. just really? like America. That's yeah. not how they dressed the back in, in the ancient yeah. world, you know. Mm -hmm. They got KFC, McDonald's, yeah. and all McDonald's, that shit yeah. over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. It says, um, "It, if so be, she may be healed, yeah. but she's not gonna be healed." Yeah. You know, we would have healed Babylon, they but would. she is not healed. They would have healed Babylon. She's not healed. Look at look at the state of of a modern day Babylon. America is falling. You know, they 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 got these drill runs and got this place locked down. But they can't. This place is in confusion. You can't have one people in one accord and fight for you if everybody's broken up and think differently. You got one state following laws and another state not following law, those same laws. You got death penalty in one state and another state not. You got different senate, different congressmen. You got the the, the president. He's nobody. You got billionaires that's that's on, that's more famous than the damn president. You know, they people are confused. They don't know who to follow. Go ahead. And, and uh, I, I was watching the news, and you know how they have the, the banners on the news. It mm -hmm. was like uh, the United States divided. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So this That's place, right. even they know right. it's divided. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. That's what they're doing. They're getting out of America because America's falling, man. The no currency is no good no more. Neighborly love ain't there no more. It's riots all across this place. Go ahead. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven yeah. and is lifted up even unto the skies. Yeah, man. She got NASA program up there. She's She's... You know what I'm saying? Uh, she's uh, proud in her uh, new technology, which a lot of it's uh, toward trying to be like the most high. Yeah. Trying to make the next uh, 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 a dim world of dimensions that you can go into. And, you know, they got Star Trek shows, Star Wars shows, like they just gonna be living up there forever and shit. Fuck yeah. out of here, man. Yeah, this new space company called SpaceX. You know, run by this this guy mm -hmm. Elon Musk. You know, he's yeah, also kinda. running that whole Neuralink pro mm -hmm. uh, program. Yep. Where he wants to put chips in people's brains. Yep. You know, that's fulfilling 
you know, chips in their in, the, in their forehead. Yeah. And it's all coming to like these prophets yeah. are all coming because I always used to question it, like in the forehead, like how mm -hmm. you know he use their forehead to you know get in doors. And, you know, yeah. it's making sense now. It's making mm -hmm. sense now. The, the newer link, you know. Yeah. yeah. Because somebody, it was another dude. I forget his name. Was talking against. He wasn't talking against somebody. He said he don't think it's a good idea. What Elon Musk was saying, because he's like. Then leaving the natural resources, a natural way of, he said it's not natural. There's no way it could be productive. And that's true. Right. This, 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 how are you going to leave the natural resources of the earth, the elements, and, and all that, and make a, a digital world based on artificial intelligence? How is that going to last? How is that going to? Right. How, how even uh, these GMO foods, how would the people survive? A hundred years from now, eating only GMO foods, which they're planning, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, and, and making it a, a crime to have proper seeds, you know, the original seeds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How would the how would the uh, uh, humanity go on at that rate, man? See, they're trying to do that cloning to be a reproductive type of way of life. That cloning ain't gonna do no good, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just it. They're not trying to, you know, keep life going. They want to kill everybody off. You know? Yeah. So just that the, the elites can have the whole planet to themselves, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Like they come do it, go out, uh, let the bomb go off, go underground, go in the sky, let the bomb go off, and come back on Earth and rule it. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Go ahead. That's it. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah 47 and one. Come down and hey, they say what goes up must come down. Mm -hmm. Come down. Go ahead. Come mm -hmm. down. Sit in the dust. Sit in the dust. Sit in confusion. Sit in sorrow. Sit in misery. Go ahead. O virgin daughter of Babylon. Dirt, dust. Uh, o virgin of Dollar, uh, Babylon. Because she's nobody has came into America, invaded America. Yep. She even said it. They even said she's even read over the scriptures that she called herself a lady uh, and, and not a widow. Right. And who should? So did everybody looking at this uh, new world of this America as a as a virgin, as a somebody, damn, look at her. Somebody to take and and, and, and marry and shit. But now they're going to find out she's an old ass harlot <laughs> in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, oh, hell no. Nah. You know how you look, she look fine from far away? Mm -hmm. Then you can get up and close, oh, hell no. Nah. You, you know? Put your glasses on, be like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah, the glasses represent the truth. You know, mm -hmm. put that truth on, they're going to be like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. villagers, man. Yeah. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. There is no throne, man. There is no. The Most High gonna cut her off, man. You know she's a harlot that sit on the beast. She ain't even. She's just a a, 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 a a vessel to sell and do business like a harlot. Mm -hmm. But the true men that that's really running it is over there in England. In Britain, great, you know, the EU, yeah. NATO, you know, America's just, she's just a, a, a heart that rides on the beach for their uh, com uh, commerce. That's why you got imports and out e exports all through this place, man. Yeah, America is the, uh, the military might of the elites. Yeah. Right. In London, they're the economic yeah. branch of the elites. And Rome is the uh, religious, yeah. you know, of three, the three city states. Yeah. You know? If you Vatican, was, London, Washington, Washington, D.C. Yeah. If she was so independent, why would she need imports and exports? She would just cut everybody out and say, we do our own farming and our own thing over here. Go ahead. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Yeah, Chaldeans. That was, that was a major city in Babylon, right? That, uh, wait, let me see. No, that was a Syria. Right? But they was the, uh, witchcraft. They were right, like, yeah, they were magicians and astrologers. They're the wise men. They're the yeah, wise men. Um, go ahead. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, that's America. She ain't called tender and delicate no more. Man. Everybody ain't treating her and taking her in their bosom like they did back then. Go ahead. Uh, take the millstones and grind mill. Yeah. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. And that's what is being seen today. She's a grimy ass, harlot ass bitch that works for the elites. Shit. She's a spy. She's a 
you know, she's she's a she's a harlot, man. That's what yeah. harlots do. They just being told by the pimp to make go in, to go out there and make my money, come back, mm -hmm. but the money is coming short, like that. Yeah. All right. You know when a harlot don't got your money. <laughs> it be like Wayne Brady. Don't yeah. Wayne Brady have to. Benjamin is kind of lonely. <laughs> you know. That's what they're doing. That's why they, yeah. we, the, it talks about the euro, but now they're trying this digital uh, era in this bit. Go ahead. Yeah, and part of that shame that's being seen now is with all these riots and the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the discrimination about Jake. You know, Jake getting killed by the cops. All mm -hmm. that's being shown worldwide. That's part, part of America's shame as well, man. Yeah. If they nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. Mm -hmm. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yeah. Because they're going to try to fight against the prince and princess. They're going to try to fight against Yahweh Shah, the angels, man. But they're not going to prevail. That's a force that you can't, they can't reckon with, man. You know, they're just men. And we asked the Most High, even in Egypt, like, show these Egyptians that they're just men. It says right. the Egyptians are just men. They're horses. They're, uh, what do you call it? They're, they're um, something else they use. They're horses. They're men. They're uh, chariots. chariots, shields, and all that. They're just flesh. Right. You know? in, in America, America is going to be known as uh, the Edomites because the Edomites are the ones who's ruling this place, man. Yeah. You know, not America. America is is the Edomites. It's not really America. It's the Edomites, and the world is going to see that. Yeah. You know, Job nine and twenty four. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. You know, and they're the, the wicked is ruling the earth yeah. right now. And the wicked are the Edomites. America is synonymous with the Edomites, you know. Yeah, that's why we said in the beginning our people are confused because they think America is this uh, thing that was formed with minds of people that had the interests of people and that had an outlook for the better come of liberty and freedom. Mm -hmm. They, they orchestrate this whole thing according to the murders and, and rape and robbery of, of, of what they wanted to do with this place in the first place, which right. is turning into a, a a new world order for them. Mm. It had nothing to do with taking care of us. You're going to give your slaves housing, so what? Yeah, you slave. give your dog a bone and shit, right, you're exactly. still a master. Yeah, and you see what the slaves was living in. They were living in shacks, man. Yeah, shacks. shacks. Shitty shacks. I'm telling you. Dirty water. Yep. And some of them states still have, like you said, you grew up in Mississippi. Yeah. They still got dirty water. They man. still got shacks. shacks. What are you talking about? They, yeah. yeah, they still got well, yeah, shacks. Everything. You know what I'm saying? They, they poor. Yeah, yeah, everything. And, From and, bad water to shacks yep. to uh, prisons. They got prisons set up for our people and shit. Mm -hmm. Not for them. They take a so-called white man to jail every other day. I mean, every, just to let you think it's equal quality and shit. Mm -hmm. They built those prisons for the Negroes, man. Yeah, exactly. And the Latino and Native Americans, the tribes of Israel, man. Go ahead. And jo Charles Barkley was, was was talking to this guy, this white guy, and the, the white guy straight up told him this stuff. American is, is made for white people. And he Charles Barkley looked back like he was all surprised. And said, "Why are you looking all yeah, surprised?" Like, yeah, <laughs> come on, you know that man. That that uh, documentary that came out a while ago. I always talk about it. You know, it's called the Thirteenth Thirteenth Amendment. You know, yeah. those prisons were set up, you know, to continue slavery. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those prisons were set up from Jake's, man, mm -hmm. to get thrown in there. Yeah. And America is named after Marco Vespucci, <laughs> which wasn't our people. So you name your, they named their lands after themselves, man. Yeah, I mean, that means you're, you're saying you're an American and you're the, you're the seed of Marco Vespucci. You come from his lineage. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're saying. African, as Leo Scipio Africanus, you saying that you come from his loins. Nah, we supposed to be Israelites coming from Jerusalem, you know? And we coming from the loins of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right, yeah. Yep. You know? We were brought here for punishment. We weren't brought here yeah. to prosper. Yeah. This America, like the, like the guy was right, America was set up from yeah. the white man. Yep. Yeah. You know? He used his blessing to take down Yad, mm -hmm. you know? And he established all America tribes, and, yeah. and all the tribes, you know? Rape, robbing, and murdering, mm -hmm. so that his 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 line can prosper here in America. Yeah. You know? Yep. Go ahead. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yep. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of Hosts is His name, the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai. 
You can go to uh, Psalms, but he's going to be our redeemer, not this money, not this system, not no jobs, not no stimulus packages. <laughs> 413, 401k, whatever. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. So Psalms uh, 137 and 1. By the, one, one. Yeah. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. So the, uh, instead of the rivers of Jordan, we in rivers of Babylon now. Mm. <laughs> Most High changed it. Captivity. And we right here in the rivers of Babylon with all around where these Babylonians are. And the Babylonian custom, man. Go ahead. There we sat down. Yeah. Yay, we wept. We wept. That's what we doing here in America, modern day Babylon, weeping. But what's going on, man? Where the righteous men, not two thirds, they feel comfortable. They want to bounce back. Right. They want they comfortable. Uh, you could give a nigga a piece of bread and he'd be good, man. Like, damn, and he won't even thank the most high for it. Right. Thank the uh, the oppressor. Yeah. Well, he did feed us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck, he got you enslaved. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you talking about? Same thing they was doing back then in Moses' days. Yeah. Oh, Moses, since we followed you, it yeah. seemed like we ain't eating good no more. <laughs> Egypt, we had the cucumbers, the leeks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on, man. Go ahead. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yeah. Yay, we wept. When we remembered Zion. When we remembered Zion, man. Zion means monument. Now our people are starting to realize that yeah, we are in a strange land. Mm -hmm. They starting to remember Zion through the you know, us through the apostles, elders and you know, so forth. And that and their elders that has started the truth that comes out. They start to be like, damn. Cause we starting to put on our customs of uh of of, of our our heritage again. Right. Starting to wear bees. I know it ain't it ain't about the physical, but that's a part of the makeup. You know, present yourself as a living sacrifice, letting your people see you. So we starting to put our garments on. Most high said, wear the fringes to remind you of your uh, um, your commandment, his commandments. So our people like starting to remember Zion, like damn. And now they more sorrowful because they know we ain't in the land that we supposed to be in. We in a land of confusion. Go ahead. We hang our harps upon the willows. Yep. In the midst thereof. Yep. For there. They that carried us away captive required of us a song. Yeah, you can't use your instruments for your own enjoyment. You're going to have to sing us a song, nigga. Sing one of them songs and good songs of Zion. Come on, get to, get to tapping. Yeah. Come on, yeah. yeah. You know, how they did to do the slaves like that. Mm -hmm. Sing us one of them songs, boy. Yeah. They knew who we were over here, too, that we were the Jews. It was a secret. Go ahead. And they that wasted us required of us mirth. Mirth, yeah, go ahead. Sing, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Yeah, sing, because they want to they wanna remember how great, they, them heathens, them people that took us captive, they want to feel like us. Right. They want to feel the mirth of, uh, of Zion. Yep. How we, you know, how we was blessed and, and all the, our children used to sing songs and mm -hmm. how we used to play the best music and yep. be happy with our Lord. They want to feel like that. But they can't. Even in they in Jerusalem now, in the very city, and they still don't <laughs> feel like us. They don't, but they try. They try, they but try. they still can't get that yeah. spirit because it ain't in them. Exactly. They got to work on the outside and shit, curl the, yeah. you know. Try to make them some locks. Mm -hmm. Wearing all black and shit, yeah. you know. <laughs> Come on, man. Wearing Come on. all black, got their women cutting their hair off, mm -hmm. you know, so they can feel, feel like. That. You know, they that had a was the curse, mm -hmm. you know, curse of a bald head. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Want to act like they reading the Torah? Nah, y'all follow the Talmud, man. Yeah. Go ahead. How shall we sing the Lord's song, Lord's song, in a strange land? See, now our people now that we going through this, this uh, hell and riots, they starting, they songs are starting to not be so great and happy no more. They're not having fun as they did. Cause they realizing like, damn, how can we, you can't sing about uh, happiness or got it going on when you being oppressed and you got being called a nigga and you, you know, every one of your uh, people are dying every other day and shit. How can you sing a, a, a happy song and shit? Go ahead. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. let my right hand forget her cunning. Yeah, Jerusalem. That that that's a city of peace, man. You, you, that's where we had peace with the Most High. Most High dwelt in Jerusalem. That was his, you know. That was his hood. Yeah, his at the apple of his eye. Now his people have been scattered, you know, and the enemy has taken advantage so far. But it's gonna get back, you know. 
We the real norm, man. Go ahead. If I do not remember thee. If 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 they do not remember Jerusalem. Go ahead. Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. So who they play replace with Jerusalem? America. A bitter place. America means bitter, man. So they, they ain't sucking the breast of Jerusalem no more. Cause they are, oh Jerusalem, that was that's destroyed, you know. Now they sucking the breast of America. That's the only milk they feel they they have. But most high said, hey, desire to send some milk of the word. It's Jerusalem right here in the four corners, set up with prophets. Wielding you back, nursing you back to uh, the Most High. By Shem Yahweh Shai, man, go ahead. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Yeah, above his chief joy, go ahead. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Remember the children of Edom, which is these so called white people. Edom means red. He took on the red meat. He was called red. His nation is red. Mm -hmm. He's the red neck. Mm -hmm. What else is he? Uh, he's. Uh, He's dressed red. in the red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. The, the uh, red represents in nature danger. Yeah. Get, yeah, alert, emergency. Alert. You know, stop. Yeah. You know, All stop sign. Stop line. And, the fire mm -hmm. trucks. Fire trucks. Fire. Fire. Um, Poison. Yeah. yeah. And they, they even been saying the red devil is red, but they've been thinking about that lizard devil, but he is red. They got mm -hmm. that right. Yeah. You know. Go ahead. And he got tail. They had, had a tail, had a tail on. Mm -hmm. And you remember the, the Caucasians, they grew tails up in the caves. Mm -hmm. You know, because they, they, didn't, a... they didn't wipe their ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So their their body grew a tail to fan the flies. You know, yeah. that was around their ass. So they, yeah. their body just grew a tail. Mm -hmm. And then now, you know, but since they ain't the washed their ass, yeah. now they got a fan. But even the form of them having to sit on their ass would know. Because we, you know what I'm saying? That's, they crawled on all fours, so when they sit down, they sit on the ass, so, you know, that, that contributed too, along with growing the tail, man. Go ahead. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, yep. in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. Yeah, because they stood by. Edom stood by. You can read that in uh, Obadiah. And let us get murdered and all that. Let us get killed saying, raise it, when, when we was in Babylon. Go ahead. Even to the foundation thereof. Yep. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Oh, daughter of Babylon. So it's a daughter of Babylon now, not the original Babylon. Daughter of Babylon. This is right here in America, man. Go ahead. Who are to be destroyed? You're going to be destroyed, man. That's said of you. That's written of you. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Yeah, you served us with vigor. You served us with uh, uh, hatred, cruelty, uh, rape, robbery, murder. Jim Crow. Uh, Jim Crow. Uh, uh, Willie Lynch discussed um, all kind of abominable acts, sodomy, yep. homosexuality. Anything that they could do to hurt us, yeah. they did it. Yeah. And what the scriptures say, they don't go, they don't sleep on their bed at night until they've come up with another way to put more hell on us, man. Mm -hmm. That's their, that's their uh, M.O. Yeah. Everything is thought about putting us in slavery, because they got to rule the world and we're the threat right because we're the only ones that are not going to stand for no unrighteous kingdom man. Mm -hmm. go ahead happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone we didn't write it right <laughs> you know we, we talking about oh they're cruel and they hate group it's in the bible y'all just never read it to your people as yet your yep. people are just finding out now the truth and now they shocked so they have to Instead of embarrassment and saving face, they gotta act like it's not the truth, but it is. And it's, you gonna we gonna reward you. You did that to us. Yeah. Took our babies back, dashed them against the stones. Took our little ones, smashed them, smashed them out with your feet. Fed you know, them to alligators. Yeah, them fed them to alligators. All that happened on constant basis. Could you imagine? You know how all these little riots every now and then get a riot or two or whatever. Jay getting killed. Nah, at back this this was happening constantly, like every day. Millions and millions of us died, man. That ain't no uh, made up number. Yeah, it's part of the culture, the American culture. Yeah, know? it's the lynch Jake. Yeah, you know Jake got out of line or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you say they were surprised. I mean, yeah. uh, you shocked, know, and, shocked yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Let me get this right quick. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah fifty-one. I'm gonna start at uh. 
what is that? Is that 14 right there? Can you see that number? Is that 14? Uh, What's the next one? 40, 42. Oh, 42? Yeah, 41 and 42. Okay, it says, How is Shishak, Shishak taken? And that's the financial uh, part, right? Of, of, of the system. Because I think they come from shackles, I, think. I mean, not uh, shackles, I think. Okay, it says, and how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? Yeah. Okay. The praise of the whole earth is this economy, like yeah. you said, this American system. Yeah. Go ahead. How is Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? How has she become an astonishment? You know, confusion. How is the confused? <laughs> Go ahead. The sea has come up upon Babylon. Mm -hmm. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. Her cities are a desolation, a dry land, yep. and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doth any son of man pass thereby. Because the Most High is going to destroy this place, yep. and there's going to be nothing but uh, uh, creatures, you know, creepy land creatures, and owls. owls, and creepy things, crawly <laughs> things on this place. No man's going to inhabit this place anymore after this. Right. Most high done with this place, man. Yep. Yeah, what scripture was that? That was uh, uh, Jeremiah 51 and uh, 41 and 42. That's the spirit, because we're going to go back to that uh, Jeremiah 51. It's more in there. But uh, yep. uh, go ahead. You got a scripture? Uh, Jeremiah uh, 51 and um, Yeah, did you read? The, you read the uh, by the rivers of Babylon. You read yeah, the night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. So, yeah, uh, Je yeah. Go to Jeremiah fifty-one and uh, we start at five, I guess. I'm gonna look at that she shack. Kind of make sure. Yeah, we get that right. We go to Jeremiah fifty-one. Fifty-one and five. It says, uh, "Just Jeremiah fifty-one and five. For Israel hath not been forsaken." Yeah, we not been forsaken. And what it's going to tell you, too, go ahead. Nor Judah of his power. Nor Judah of his power. It was, remember, it was two kingdoms, Judah and Israel. And those two kingdoms are not forsaken. Actually, they're going to be brought together as one right now, even to this very day. Go ahead. It says, of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, of hosts. Of hosts. Lord of armies, go ahead. Uh-huh. Through their land. Though their land. A slot. Though their land, though their land, go ahead, was uh, filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, because that's what the, the, everybody's saying. Oh, look how bad Israel is, and he, they sinful. But though the uh, our city was filled with sin, the Most High, go ahead, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Oh, the Most High said, uh, he he still loves us. We still his people. You know, even though we had sin in our land. So he said, uh, flee, go ahead. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, go ahead. And deliver every man his soul. Yep. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is for this is the time of the Lord's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's vengeance. Yep. He will render unto her a recompense. He's going to render Babylon a recompense, mm -hmm. man. Go ahead. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Yeah, we read that. We, yep. yep. And she, she, um, and then, see, uh, uh, we're going to get that scripture accused of our brethren because Esau, on the other hand, he trying to say, ah, oh, this is a sinful people. This is a sinful nation. How the Most High afford him? You know? But the Most High said he still loved Judah and Israel, though sin was in our land, man. Yeah. That we are filled with sin. The most High is going to purify us through this word. So the, the so-called white man ain't going to have us a, a, a step to stand on. You know, he tried to take us to the court, try to use the Bible mm. in the court, but he'll close the book because he know right. if we went through that Bible, we'll be like, well, the Most High said he'll forgive his children. But he, and, and okay, well, you got me. I sinned, but you're not the Most High. You know, we, we, we'll defeat him with this Bible. That's why he don't use it. Right. He, he, want, he want you to you to use it, swear mm -hmm. in on it, yep. and swear by it because we know we're not gonna lie when mm -hmm. it comes to the scriptures. Exactly. But he just closed the book yep, and said, "Okay, y'all, y'all yeah, swear sure. by it, but I'm not gonna swear mm -hmm. by it." Exactly. You know? Y'all can be in trouble. Right. Because he know our power exists, man. That's one thing Esau won't tell you. He knows, man. Not these peons, but the Rothschilds, they know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
It says Babel. Says Babylon has Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her wine, therefore the nations are mad. The nations are mad because they've been deceived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Suddenly fallen and destroyed. Now this is modern day Babylon, but we're reading it in a spiritual context too. From concerning prophecy, that is, it's, it's already really fallen. It just need to play out this physical example of Babylon being fallen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How for her? How for her? Go Take ahead. balm for her. If so, she may be healed. Balm is a healing ointment, and then she can't be healed. Yeah, we would have healed Babylon. Would have healed. But she is not healed. She is not healed, man. This ain't the thriving country, a uh, city it used to be. Broadway is not Broadway no more. You know, things are not booming no more. This place can't be healed. And they're going to try to heal it with a digital uh, program? Come on, baby. It says, forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. Yeah, because it ain't going to work. It ain't going to make it. <laughs> they're going to be like, this place is about to fall, man. Let me yep. go back to my homeland, my own people. Yep. Go ahead. For her judgment reaches unto heaven. Yeah, we said that. Yeah, go ahead. And it's lifted up even to the skies. Yep. NASA program, space, uh, you mentioned earlier. Yep. Go ahead. It says, the Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord. Yeah, most high power. brought our righteousness forth through this word, through the apostles and elders, through, through the happy spirit of Yahweh, Father Shem, Shai. Now they're faced with a new, new battle, you know. Go ahead. They don't know how to fight a spiritual battle, so they 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 trying to now they trying to use through their technology, their devices us lying. They're trying to make us lie about you know about what's going on. Like we we like you know they know that we spiritual men. We're not taking up arms, so they're gonna try to push us into a negative through deceit, through this media, you know, through lying. That's how the devil do. He's the deceiver. Go ahead. But we still combating with spirituality. We ain't yep. grab no guns. We ain't down with that militia dude, Grandmaster J and shit. He try to mention us, Shalom and all. We ain't down with him. We used to go by the spirit that is that the Most High gave us the word, following the commandments and speaking and prophesying against a wicked ass place, man. Right. Go ahead. Because he's uh, that. What, what was his name? Um, that was coming with the guns. Grandmaster Jay. Grandmaster Jay, mm -hmm. he's coming carnally. Yeah. And the Lord told us to wait on him until he rises up to the prey. Right. So yeah. we're supposed to wait, man. Yeah. And two, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Uh -huh. You can't go up against Esau with uh -huh. with his own blessing. Yeah. The Lord blessed Esau with some guns that even though this guy been in the military, they got guns he don't even know about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These thing, these guns he got now is guns for fun. Yeah. yeah. When he gets serious, <laughs> he gonna pull out them big boys, man. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, "Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes." Yeah. Them Russians again come back up on America, man. You know that old Russian spirit, mm -hmm. the USSR. Yep. And they gonna be coming. You know they don't like America anyway. People said they're gonna put hooks in their jaws. Yeah. And, yep. you know, bring them back. Bring them back to that old spirit, man. Yep. Go ahead. We might pull that too. Go ahead. It says, for his device is against Babylon. His device and that nuclear, that vice that he got is against Babylon, this modern day America. Go ahead. To destroy it. To destroy it. Because oh. yep, go ahead. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yep. The vengeance of his temple. The vengeance of his temple. His people are here, man. We in the midst of this Babylon place. And they came over here to the Native Americans. They slaughtered Native Americans. They put smallpox on them. They 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 act. They didn't been, been deceitful with the uh, so-called peace treaties and all that. Broken all those, you know. Made the Gatling gun. Yep. 
yeah. can't start using cannons and all that and put tribes against each other, divide and conquer. America ain't gonna be rebuilt, man. This place is done. There's yeah. blood all over this place. Go ahead. It says, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Yep. Yeah. Make the watch strong. Make the watch strong. Go ahead. Set up the watchmen. Yep. Yeah. Prepare the ambushes. The Lord, the most high, gonna ambush this yeah. place, man. Yeah, this is a, a array of war yeah. targeted toward America. Set up with it, the gathering, man, of this yeah. of the war, warring men. Set up the battle, dude. Most high calling shots. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Hawashai, hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Yeah. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, Abundant in treasures. Abundant in treasures. Thine end is come. Thy end is come, man. This is your end right here. They know it. Yeah. Oh, what, what verse is that? That was uh, was, uh 13. That was 12. 13. Uh, okay, go ahead. That's... That was 12. 13. It says, um, O thou that dwellest upon many waters, mm -hmm. abundant in treasures, yep. thine in is come, and thy measure, and the measure of thy covetedness. Mm -hmm. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, mm -hmm. and they shall lift up a shout against thee yeah. he hath made the earth by his power he hath established the world by his wisdom mm -hmm. and hath stretched out the heavens by his understanding so the most high is the one that's making this go on man the mm -hmm. most high is the one one that wants babylon destroyed i mean you know starting with him you have shy us you know go ahead verse 16 when he uttereth his voice there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, mm -hmm. and he causes the vapors to ascend from the end of the earth, from the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. He maketh lightning with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brushed, is brutish by by his knotted knowledge. Mm -hmm. See? Every it, man is brutish by his knowledge, man. They don't know the most high, they can't tap into the what the most high is doing. These they most high is using them as chess pieces, soldier men, soldier mm -hmm. toys, or whatever. You know, go ahead. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, mm -hmm. for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. Yep. Uh, he's, you know, this American idol worship, and then who they worship? All the idols of the uh, gods are idols of the nations. Mm -hmm. All the gods of the nations are idols. Go ahead. They are vanity. They are vanity. The work of errors. Work of errors, especially I mean, with, even with this RFID chip, man. Because he set up a lot of things about for our people to follow Christianity, Muslim. That's why he don't mind you niggas being a Muslim or a Christian. Right. As soon as you become an Israelite, oh, ish. he's up, you know, up on his toes. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, they are vanity, the works of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. They shall perish. Go ahead. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Yeah, we the, uh, we're not like these uh, heathens, man. They're not like those with their customs. Go ahead. America. For, for he is the former of all things. We're the former of all things. Go ahead. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. We're the rod of the Most High's inheritance. Not these other nations, not Edom. You know, it's all about Israel. Israel is the star of the show. And they, everybody's watching the movie wondering what Israel is going to do. If Israel lead a movie scene, they're going to be like, I ain't watching no more movies, man. Or that, or that, that same movie, because Israel's not in there. Yep. You know, go ahead. It says, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, is his name. What, is that? what verse is that? That was uh, 19. 19. What does it say after that? Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war. OK, 
Okay, go ahead. That, we're going to beat the most highest battle axe and weapons of war. So we're not going to need the carnal machinery of Esau and whatever his blessing is. We got to, our blessing is spiritual powers, man. Yeah. We are, the, that it just said it. Yeah. Say, thou art my battle axe yeah. and weapons of war. We are that. We are the axe in, the, in that. Their weapons, like they got guns and tanks and stuff, the most high is going to use us as those things. Yeah. So it's, how are we going to defeat the carnal things? Most high going to put uh, give us spiritual powers, man. Go ahead. It says, for with thee with how thee. will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Yeah, we're going to be super extraterrestrial men, being able to block missiles and throw down planes and helicopters and it's you seen uh hancock when the, mm -hmm. uh, the train ran into him split it in half man yeah you know go ahead yeah it's uh, ezekiel 25 14 and i will lay my vengeance upon edom by the hand of my people yep. israel edom is the red man the so-called white man who calls himself white but is not and is red right you know by his people israel which is so-called black native american Indians, uh, Latino, Native American Indians. So how is he going, most high going to allow us to combat this devil? Spiritual powers, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what the so-called white man, he ain't ready for that. He he deals with the left-hand side, but most high, you know, I said, don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. Most high ain't letting this devil know what, what, what he got playing with us, within us. We read in the scriptures, but he really don't understand the dynamic, the depth of it, the depth of it. Go ahead. And they shall do an Edom according to mine anger. My, his anger. So it ain't going, you can, as a man, you can only be angry like, you know, you you might forgive another man. Or even your own, look at Jake. He forgives his enemy and shit. As soon as he gets shot after him. Gets shot by his enemy and then go march and hug with him. Yeah. Well, most high's anger is different. He remember back then when you put us in slavery and even before that. Yeah. We was in Babylon. He knows who you are. He to, knows who you are. Through, through uh, reincarnation. Yeah. He know you was the one that, mm -hmm. that was smacking up Jake. And now, all of a sudden, you want to be the one on your knees praying and yeah. asking for forgiveness. Yeah. When you've, you've done that for generation after generation, incarnation after incarnation, mm -hmm. that's how you've been. And now, all of a sudden, you want to act like, you know, you care. The Lord sees all of that, man. Like the brother said, he know because it says in the scriptures, he going to see those who, uh, who pierced him. Ones who pierced him. Even though he gonna, all the world <laughs> shall see him, even those that pierced him. Yep. Back in the days when, when they hung him on the, slew him and hung him on the cross with the Roman soldiers. Yeah, he's going to come for those soldiers first. Yeah. You know, the ones that pierced him. Yeah. That's reincarnation too. Go ahead. And they shall do and eat him according to mine anger. But how, how, why would he do that? And he's a... Forgiving God, don't he forgive right. everybody? Yeah. Didn't they say he's a forgive? That's so. Well, that God means, so loved the world. God so loved the world. So <laughs> why would he come all the way back to get those people? Who know? Right. You know. Go ahead. <laughs> and they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. According to his fury, man. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Power. When you use that word fury, I was furious. You mean somebody was really angry, like man. They wanted, it was just the, the passion of the heat of passion, furious. When you in that mode, you knocking everything down. Yeah, you, you can't even breathe. You're so angry. Yeah, uh, nostrils, the heat in the nostrils of your nose flare up, man. Your eyes water. That's how mad you are. Go ahead. Back in, back in uh, Jeremiah 51 and 21, it mm -hmm. says, And with thee... Will I break in pieces the horses and his rider? Yeah, your power structure, your military. It says I've seen servants on horses and uh, 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 princes on on the, on the ground. Your horse is gonna be broken and the rider. Man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Yep. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. Man and woman. Most yep. I don't care if you're a woman. Yep. I got children, I got babies, he don't care. He see all y'all as, as one. As one. As one. See you as that, that demon what you are, like that, mm -hmm. that white demon with the dog that's that's yeah. been it that went viral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. gonna call him yeah. and I'm gonna tell him it's I'm gonna tell him it's an exactly. African American man threatening me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the Lord gonna get them, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Cause you, you know, you, like Rob Childs, they 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 done they sleep unless they done no mischief. They plan and target us, set up things. This is a regular Edomite yeah. woman, a, a peon Edomite woman, and she's angry like that. Mm -hmm. So how much so, more the elite? Yeah, man. how much more the elite? So y'all don't even know what's going on, man. Yep. And if you bring it out of these devils, every one of them will act like that, man. Yeah. Yep. If you bring it out of them, it's yeah. easy to go to school and share money and yep. and eat and shit. And, and invite a token Jake to their house. Mm -hmm. But what about when things get heavy? Yeah, right. really piss them that off. Was, that's, yeah. when, that's when that hatred yeah, come yeah, out. Yeah, that nigga come out every time. It's yeah. coming out now on these videos <laughs> with like these little young girls. They coming out, you know, 15, mm -hmm. 16 years old, talking about nigga this, nigga that. Yeah. You got the old lady out there, you know, when the little, little Jake was riding in the little car, the little park, you know, little, little what, a power wheel. Yeah. And she was talking about what? Why are they driving? They don't even have a driver's license. Like, what? <laughs> so, let, let me continue. Yep. It says, uh, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young. Old and young. <laughs> mm. So, it don't matter. We just read that in Psalms. Where they, we're going to be dashing they, they little ones against that stones because they, it, most I don't care if you're old or young. you still an Edomite. You still yep. did his people in. You still a part of that uh, nation that needs to be destroyed, man. Yeah, that's, you still that same spirit. Yeah. It's in that old body, that, in that young body. Yeah. It's that same mm -hmm. spirit. Yeah. Your, the son reminds you of the father. You'd be like, if you're mad at the father, you like, that's his son. Get him, man. Like, yeah. You know? Go the, ahead. The father's son just did a double team murder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. Yeah, and the Aubrey guy. Shows you, yeah. That, that went over a lot of people's heads. Show yeah. you the representation of, of how they pass on from generation to generation. Right. Go ahead. It says, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Young man and the maid. Most young high woman. Destroy, yeah. yep. Most high destroying everybody. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. Mm -hmm. And with thee will I break in pieces the husband man and his yoke of oxen. Mm -hmm. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Mm -hmm. And, we, and I will render unto Babylon mm -hmm. and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea mm -hmm. and all all their evil that they have done in Zion in, look, in your sight. In your sight. All, the all the things that they done to Zion. You can, you can, it's a list of things they did. We just named them of slavery and it's still going on to the very day. Bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And, we, and we, we're just, we having a short version of it, a brief version of it. We can go on and on. We can get in depth. Of what they did to us. Yeah. I mean, we ain't mentioning the sick, uh, grimy shit that they can't even show on new movies. Right. A lot that that's a that that that's a, a, a walk in the park compared to what they really did to us. Yeah. You know. They, Go pro ahead. they probably don't even film that. Yeah. You know, no, don't even put that on. Well, um, uh, what was that uh, movie? Cabin. I mean, uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin was close. Where they showed that derogatory, uh, those mm -hmm. abominable acts. Oh, that was yeah. as close mm -hmm. as you could get to our real slavery. But right. even that was a shadow. Mm -hmm. That wasn't doing justice, man. They did some horrible things. Man. You got to understand that this, this devil hates us. He has a perpetual hatred. That's what it says, yeah. Hatred, you know, which, mm -hmm. which, which would lead to your bodily harm. Yep. You know? Yep. Physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. You know? The and depth. Jake has love. Jake is love. That's why the only he... thing Esau has to do is say, I'm sorry, man. Sorry mm -hmm. about that, man. Yeah. And Jake is willing to, to forgive him, man. Well, that's why they pump love in the society. Because mm -hmm. they know Jake is a loving people. And, and you know, you could, David, King David had the heart of the Most High. He was yeah. Even though he slew his ten thousands, he didn't even kill Saul. Right. Mm. Yeah. So you'd be like, you try to put that together. Well, he ain't a murderer because he, if he was, he would have killed Saul a long time ago. Yeah, because Saul was trying to kill him. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know it's a standard and a, and a spirit inside of our people that, that want to do good, you know. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. Yep. That's, that's destroying Esau. the mountain is Esau. Mm -hmm. Mount Seir, Mount, wherever mm -hmm. Esau is, that's who he is. Yep. Said the Lord Yahweh. Yep. Lord Shem Yahweh Shai. Yep. Which destroyeth all the earth. You destroyed the earth. We named it the earth. And the people was a part of the earth. You destroyed the sea. You destroyed the lakes. Destroyed the rivers. Destroyed the, the trees. The what? The air. The air. Mm -hmm. You know? You're trying to destroy the moon. This constellations. Mm -hmm. You know? 
you destroy the very soil that you walk on, you can't even plant no more in this place. Right. You know? See, no, that's how you know Esau ain't went to the moon. Because if Esau had have gone to the moon, the moon probably would have some kind of destruction yeah, on it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It would yeah. it, it would have his mark mm -hmm. of destruction, man. Yeah. Because in it in it all kind of space debris out there, yeah. Yeah. junk. Space junk. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He didn't litter. How you gonna litter up the the, the space, man? <laughs> you know. In the ocean, the, the 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 ocean is littered with with all kind of plastic plastic yeah. islands. Even on haircut. He, he, he made Hancock put a heart on the moon. Right, that's what I was exactly. Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. Like, leave the moon alone, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let, it, let things be, man. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, which destroyeth all the earth, yep. and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks yep. and will make thee a burnt mountain. Yep, because you live in the clefts of the rocks, man. Yep. Petra. Mount Seer. You you li you love and Mount Dew. <laughs> you love the mountains, man. Yep. Yeah. Let me go to the mountains uh, uh in and up there skiing and shit. And yep. <laughs> what do they call the uh the summit? They have they have summits. Summit, yep. What do they call it? Uh what uh, is it called? Camp? No, that's Camp David. But I thought they had a mount, so my bad. So I... Yeah, no, they do something. It's called something. I know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Yep. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation. Yep. But thou shalt be desolate forever, and saith they, the Lord. You should be desolate forever. And you know how, for us, the Yahweh Shai is our cornerstone. They don't have mm -hmm. no foundation, no root. They don't have no leader or no... No, that like our uh, like Yahweh Shai to get it, to save us and get us out of apart, but they ain't gonna have that. They gonna be destroyed. Go right. ahead. It says set up a standard in the land. Mm -hmm. Blow the trumpet among the nations. Blow the trumpet among the nations. Man, get this thing started, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Prepare the nations against her. Mm -hmm. Against who? America. Yeah. Uh, Harley. Go ahead. Call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat, Mani, Mini. Minai, Slot, and Ash, Ash, Chenzag, Slot, Ash Chenaz. Appoint a captain against her. Yep. Cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. It just let you know the Most High is controlling this thing. He's gonna appoint a leader to just to have this place destroyed. No matter how how, how it's done with the Most High and, and Russia. Like we said, it's been set up against America. Iran is in the pocket, you know what I'm saying? India is over there, Korea is still over there, North and South Korea, India is still in the cut, you know? All these dark, all, all these people, are these nations, they dark nations, they were mm -hmm. dealing with us, they know us. Yeah. America, the only, only this American bubble is people that don't know who we right. are. Yeah. But they, these nations know who we are. Oh shit, man. They, they got the records. The, they got the records, man. And they got, you know, people that had remembered us mm. through those captivities in those times. You know, we were dealing with the Persian and Medes. It showed you that in 300 with the Spartans and all that, man. Yeah, and you had this one uh, Iranian leader. I forgot his name. He said, you know, how would Jews leave black? Come and, back yeah, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I forget his name. His name. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just read about, uh, his name, too. Go ahead. It says... Prepare against her the nations with the kings. Go ahead. Oh, was it Joseph? Some I, I, I think. Oh, go ahead. Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. Yep, kings of the Medes. The captains thereof. Russians, go ahead. And all the rulers thereof. All the rulers there. And all the land of his dominion. Mm -hmm. So wherever he is. Wherever he is. You know. Uh, is it? Is that verse? That was uh, verse twenty-eight. Okay, go ahead. And the land shall tremble and sorrow. Yep. For every purpose of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, shall be performed Ooh. against Babylon. Every purpose. Yep. Every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. So that must, nothing's going to come out. That Lord ain't going to, he ain't just talking, man. His prophecy is just is speaking. He ain't just saying things, man. Yep. It's a purpose. And, he gonna, and it's going to be performed. Go ahead. It says, 
to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. Uh, and they have, we said that it, it ain't gonna be nobody inhabit. You know how they have fun? They go to the, uh, they surf and they go to the mountains and yeah. they go to the, uh, the resorts and they go on vacation. And all these dark nations they go to is, is a, a, is a, a damn, uh, what do you call it, a tourist site and shit. Yeah. They just go by poor people and look at the poor people, you know, in their little vehicles and shit. Yeah, because they have the most beautiful land, you know, because yeah. they don't have all that manufacturing and all that, mm -hmm. destroyed the exactly. land. Right, and, they're in Thailand, the yeah. water's beautiful. Yeah, and yeah. the people are rich, culture is culture yeah. over there. Yeah. Even with these other nations. And they got it for months, but it's culture there. You know, they got a culture to them. You know, Elam, and, they, and you know, even when we dealt with them, like they concubines and shit. Yeah, the women are in order. Yeah, the women are in it. They look nice, and yeah. you know, they have their uh, different uh, fabrics that they make and different mm -hmm. art that they have. You know. But even in that, Esau, the place when he goes over there, he's already he he, he 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 lifts up like his place. Like you go to Jamaica. People over there are living in poverty, but when you go to those resorts, those resorts like, like damn. Yeah, that's the, that's the economy of tourists, economy. right? Yeah. Exactly. But the people can't, they can't uh, participate in that. Yeah. Right? They can't participate in that yeah. and enjoy, you know, the the, the beauty of that, mm -hmm. you know. But he still used, he still know we're the real beauty of all that. Yeah. Because he he can't leave our culture alone. He that's try to be like the Benjamites. Go. The uh, Jamaicans, he tried to be like Judah, the Negro. He tried to be like the Puerto Ricans, the Native Americans. We the real culture and salt and the richness of this mm. this whole planet, man. Salt of the earth. Salt of the earth, the uh, earth, the whole earth, man. Go ahead. It says, the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Mm -hmm. They have remained in their holes. <laughs> they have remained in their holes. Go ahead. Their might have failed them they for born to fight they, they don't they don't have that same fighting spirit you know no more not in america modern day babylon that's why russia's gonna go ahead and do what they do yeah and they getting scared now they gotta negotiate oh shit, pull back you know even though the rothschild they all the same they all part of this plan but america don't mean shit to them no more go ahead it says they became as women they became as women a a the Rothschilds know this place is going to get destroyed. Yeah, they know. They know. They're not ignorant of the things. You know, yeah. they know that. Why you think they they uh make these bunkers, man? Mm -hmm. yeah. They know the Lord's coming with that the, with these nuclear missiles yeah. and the and the, the, the firepower from the chariots. Mm -hmm. But mainly that the Lord had had created the Smith to blow the coals in the fire to yeah. bring forth that instrument of destruction, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. They know that's happening, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They got under, underground cities, hide, yeah. Uh, yeah. and they plan to hide out, let this radiation pass. But that's why the scriptures say, most high will get it, or willing will get it. That's why the scriptures say we're going to dig into hell and grab them out, man. Because mm -hmm. they plan to escape this damnation coming. Go ahead. It says, they became as women. They became as women. They have burned her dwellings. So they have burned her dwelling places. Mm -hmm. Her bars are broken. Mm -hmm. Yep, it says, uh, one post shall not slot. One post shall run to meet another. Mm -hmm. One messenger to meet another so, yep, to right. show the king of Babylon mm -hmm. that is that his city is taken at one end. Yeah, like they it's, it's, they sharing amongst each other, letting people know that America don't mean nothing. That's why they jumping this cash and shit. America used a flourish off of cash. Now everybody's getting getting to this digital era now, this digital uh, way of life now. The Euro and all that, the, 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 the Bitcoin, Bitcoin yep. and all that. You know, because America, the, the system is fa falling, man. They have to operate off the elite basis now. This place is going to be taken over by a new world order, which is in the elite's mind to do so. Not no Trump mind, he's a puppet. Mm -hmm. This is coming from the orders of the uh, uh, elite banking family, man. Oh. Shit, we're in a new world order we're right in now. New world yeah, right seeing now. it right now. Yeah, Martial because law. they ordered everybody to do what? Put a damn fa face mask on, ordered everybody to stay six feet apart, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. From over there to right. here. Right. Yep. You know, and if you don't do those things, the, the consequences is 
the military, man, yeah. force. Yeah, because yeah. if that was the case, it would have just been done in America. But this is all across the world. They yeah. put masks on, man, locked mm. down. Call somebody in Brazil. What you doing? I'm locked down. Yeah. You know, this is the whole world, man. Purposely crashing the economy. Yeah. Go and ahead. Give everybody, everybody yeah. these stimulus checks and mm -hmm. purposely yeah. crashing it. We're seeing it right now. Yeah. It says, and that the passages are stopped. Mm -hmm. And the reeds they have burned with fire. Wait, the messages they they ain't going they ain't doing no more imports or exports. The trucks and stop. Mm -hmm. They stopping the farmers. They stopping the passages of America, blocking things off. Nobody can go anywhere. You try to go somewhere, they'll, they'll shut you down. Where you going? It's like slavery and shit. Where you going there? Yeah. Boy, it don't look like y'all around here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you a new face in the neighborhood. <laughs> go yeah. ahead. It says. uh and the men of war are frightened. The men of war are frightened. America, they, hey, they, these people ain't ready for war. These, these, uh, not like they used to be the banners and all that. Right. They don't, they ain't ready for it. The war. You can see they, 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 uh, even they system, they, where's their training? This is a state of war. Where's their training, uh, facilities and their training, uh, the youth, I mean, you know, that, that training mechanism they have that they use to show on, um, TV all the time, on the news all the time that they're ready for war. This is a, they said this is a war, uh, uh, this is a, a, what do you call it, a war tactic or something like that. This, even this coronavirus, because they blamed it on China. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you be gathering your men for war and, and getting ready and shit and talking about war? Yeah. Nah, they, instead, they're trying to go the back way and trying to say, you know what, we're trying to talk and we're trying to negotiate and we're trying to get things together for another uh, idea of a, well, it's an old idea, but let's just try to get this new world order going. Well, too, uh, the troops that they sent out there, like the the uh, National Guard, yep. they're not ready for war. They ain't ready to kill the people. They're out in the street dancing with the people, yeah, kneeling with the people. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have compassion for the people. Yeah. You know, we've been saying that all the time, yeah, man. Yeah, we've been yeah. saying it, and now it's coming to truth mm -hmm. because uh, they have feelings because these are their own people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah. but but the real people, they're going to get rid of them National Guards, yeah. and they're going to yeah. bring the militia in here. Militia in. You know? Yeah, the, Russian yeah. troops. Right. Russian troops. The UN yeah. troops. Yeah. China yep. troops. Yep. Exactly. And they, ain't, they don't speak English. Yep. So when you women be crying out, save me, they're going to be like, I don't want to tell you. They ain't going to know what you're saying. They gonna, nothing, nothing. Yeah. But, well, I don't understand. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. Remember how America raped their women. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bombed oh, yeah. them out. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they come over here to get that revenge. Yeah. And we got a slogan, but we got a lot of people over there, too. Because we ruled Europe for almost a thousand years. Oh, yeah. A lot of those are jakes over there, too. Mm -hmm. so don't forget that. Yep. You know, go ahead. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashi of hosts, mm -hmm. the power of Israel. Power of Israel. No other nation did it mention. The power of Israel. Go ahead. The daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor yeah you use the threshing floor to get ready for the to reap the harvest like you know the threshing is to be ready to get thrashed mm -hmm. this is the floor to get thrashed go ahead say it is time to thresh her it's a time to thresh her thresh means thrash to beat beat down go ahead yet a little while yet and a little the, while go ahead and the time of her harvest shall come yeah it's a time to reap harvest means reap you gonna reap what you sown with these nations, you show them this uh, honesty. You show them because that what our people don't know over there is the dark nations, man. Mostly, we, 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 and it, even Israel is the sand of the sea. But that's where judgment is. That's why it's going. That judgment is going to happen in there. Uh, Yahweh uh, Shapat, the Valley of Decisions, because there's no judgment structure in America. It's coming from over there, where the dark nations are. They know that. That's why they run into America to establish this new world order and see if it works for them. See, Rothschild just laying back and see if it works. But they, they, they go like a harlot, like go sit and see if my money works. But the money ain't working no more because it's righteous men in here, and it, it ain't looking good. And the people are getting divided amongst themselves. The nation is divided, so it ain't working. They gonna destroy America and say, you know what? You know, let's capitalize here, right here. You know, try to try to do something here, but we're gonna take. Oh, uh, they go no, they go they going underground, like we said, because they know the dark nations over there. Right. The Arabs are over there. Arabs is probably the second that's been kind of close to holding it down, like as far as you know, mm -hmm. so-called lawful. 
Yeah. And the Arabs ain't gonna be, Arabs remember too. They remember us too. They ain't gonna let you uh, uh, go over there and just establish anything. They gonna be bombing jihad and all that. Cause they remember the old judgments, man. They know you trying to turn their harlots, I mean, their women into harlots and yeah. shit. Yep. Trying to take over their uh, their their land with uh, a so-called peace, but you trying to really mm -hmm. dominate with your evil works. Yep. So go ahead. It says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, hath devoured me. Yep. He hath cursed, crushed me. He hath made me an empty vessel. He hath swallowed me up like a dragon. He hath filled his belly with my delicates, he hath cast me out. Yeah, that's what they're doing to us, man. You know, mm -hmm. and that dragon is 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 like you know this, this is not the dragon, but it's it's she's up, she's on the beast, she's operating like the beast. You know what I'm saying? But when she get destroyed, man, we're gonna take a hold of that damn dragon, man. You know, because that dra that 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 dragon is really Esau, Edom. NATO and EU, that's their real capital structure of their power. Man. It, ain't, it ain't America. America, like I said, is a corporation and to do business. That's why everything is based on commerce. Every time you step outside, you got to make a decision where you want to spend this on this. Ain't no uh, farming, no, no watermelons growing right into your home, in your backyard. We supposed to have our own farming rights. Right. <laughs> Supposed to, you know, we ain't supposed to have to go to no damn grocery store. We're supposed yeah. to have land, you know. We're supposed to have land. Well, farmers right. market. Farmers market. Right. You Trading. Know, grocery stores. Grocery. Shit, we supposed yeah. to have. If the black community was really a thriving community, they have farming farmers markets. Right. They will have the city feel where you can go down the street, pick up pick up melons and mm -hmm. and, and cantaloupes and fruits, apples, fruits and vegetables meats, right there in the, in the market city of the market of the city. Yeah, Agora. You wouldn't have to go into no damn store of Elam or Elam right. behind the counter and buy some damn groceries or whatever. Go yeah. ahead. But the Lord did say we shall go to the enemy. Enemy from one of our well, things. Yeah, yeah. This is our curse. Yeah. Go ahead. It says the violence, the violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Be upon Babylon. It's going to come upon back on Babylon, man. Because they have dealt treacherously with Judah. Israel. Go ahead. Shall the inhabitant of Zion say, and my blood upon the inhabitants of, Ch of Chaldea? Yeah, that's what we say. Shall Jerusalem say, so, say? Shall Jerusalem say? That's what we saying. Our blood is going to be on Chaldea. Our blood is going to be on Edom. Our blood is going to be on America. You know? Because if this place went on a hundred years, it wouldn't be called America. The Russians, it would be called some elite kind of name. So, don't China own most of the places? Yeah, probably be called China, a little China or something. Yeah. So you read in the book, and you read like, it ain't going to say America, it ain't not going to say uh, modern day Babylon. As we, you know, go into our, 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 the future or whatever, names change. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? The, the names uh, are named after, just like uh, everybody in Assyria, they got some stuff. We they, we left some stuff over there in Assyria. They got some of our stuff. Our presence was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times in the Bible, they might say they was Assyrians, but they was really Hebrews as children, you know, uh, like they called Paul Egyptian. Just because he, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're in Egypt, that mean you're an Egyptian. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you steal your own people. Yeah. You just transfer it to another, uh, another captivity, another land of another oppressor, and and it's their name now because they own the land, and they call the name after them. But you steal who you are. Right. Do the Chinese, after three generations of them being born over here, are they are now they still, Americans? Yeah. Now you Esau know? might try to do that. Yeah. In a, in a, in his Wikipedia. You look up a, a, a singer that's born here, he might say American singer. Right. But he's a Chinese person that was born in America. Mm -hmm. You you find out his real background, his parents are from China. And they came to America and they was birthed him. And then now he's grown up in America, but he's still a Chinese. Yeah, he still keep the customs of yeah. that land. He know? go back to, all his family is back in China. See, that's Esau seeking to change the laws. Change the laws. You yep. know what I'm saying? He, Times he, and all that. All of that, man. He changed the law to where it's now, if you're born in America, you're an American. Mm -hmm. How the hell is that, man? Yeah, man. He's not even an American. Mm -hmm. 
he's an Edomite, man. Yeah. You got to take it back to the beginning, man, before yeah. you start changing all Change these names, the things, man. man. Okay? Yeah. Paul was born in Tarsus, right? He was born, he, he was, he said he's a Hebrew, he's a Jew, he's a Jew. A Jew born in Tarsus, you know? Mm -hmm. Citizen of Rome. Citizen of Rome, but he was still a Benjamin. Yeah. yeah. We citizens Israel. of America, but we still Jews. Right. We, we still exactly. the tribes. Go ahead. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, yeah. Behold, I will plead thy cause yeah. and take vengeance for thee. Take vengeance for it. Vengeance for us, man. That's why we're waiting upon the Lord, man. Go ahead. And I will dry up her sea and make her spring dry. Her springs dry. Her spring dry. Remember it said in the uh, Apocrypha, it said, we are letting no spring flower or the spring pass by. Most high going to get rid of all that because in the springtime, everything bring forth. Everything is born. They called the uh, Renaissance the rebirth. They, they was trying to rebirth the Roman, the Holy Roman Empire, you know. But they, they trying to rebirth America by the standards of, of, of their own idealistic mind and it ain't going to work. Cause they don't have no morals here. They don't have no spirituality there. It's not backed by real gold and silver. You know, go ahead. And Babylon shall become heaps. Heaps. And a dwelling place for dragons. Yep. And an astonishment and an hissing without an inhabitant. Without an inhabitant. Like we said, this place is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Nuclear uh, fire. And that burns everything to ash. And then you get the uh, creepy crawly things. You get dragons, all that coming. Oh, you know. To this place, man. There ain't gonna be no inhabitant here, man. Go ahead. They shall re roar together like lions. Mm -hmm. They shall yell as lions whelps. Go ahead. In their heat, I will make their make their feast, and I will make them drunken, that they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep, mm -hmm. and not wake, saith the Lord. Yep. Is that thirty? Okay, that was it. Then. Okay. But you know, Most High is gonna make Babylon a threshing floor mm -hmm. to be thrashed, and she's not gonna pass her boundaries. Uh, go to uh, Jeremiah. Um, I mean, Lamentation two and fifteen. Let me just read this go last ahead. one. It says, "I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, yep. like rams with the goats." Yeah. Okay. There That's how go. Most High is gonna bring you down. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be a sacrifice. <laughs> you know. To, in a, a memory of us, I mean, for us to look up on you and say, damn, that's that place, evil ass place, wicked place, Babylon. It used to be. Yep. It used to be thriving in the Golden City, have, that, have us in captivity. Go ahead. You said Lamentations 2 and 14. Yeah. So the Most High is going to change things. Remember that now they was praising the harlot? She's beautiful. Yep. Delicacies, rich. That was used to be us. This, this harlot is just, just copying us and shit. Wanting to live, uh, call herself a lady and widow, you know, and no husbandry. That's what we did against the Most High. So this harlot came into play. But, you know what I'm saying, now the perfection of beauty is going to return back onto Israel. But go ahead. It's in Lamentations 2 and 14. This is what our enemy is saying while we're in this captive state. Go ahead. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things yep. for thee, mm -hmm. and they have not discovered thine iniquity yep. to turn away thy captivity, but have seen for three false burdens and causes of banishment, all that pass by, all that pass by, clap their hands at thee. Clap their hand. They clap their hands at us. When we talking on the street, they use a mockery of us. They still do of this word. Go ahead. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. At the daughter of Jerusalem. That's which like, is, bro. It's like, bro. That's yeah. that's kind of like what's happening right now with yeah. these other countries protesting. Yeah, exactly. The death of Mike, uh, what's his name, uh, George Floyd, George Floyd man. Yeah. You know, they're hissing at America yeah. right now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Waving their hands, say, look, y'all, you guys are hypocritical. Y'all are hypocrites, you know, because you go around the world trying to fix everybody else's problems, but you got the main problem, you know? You got a problem that's been going on for 400 years, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that hissing is going to come back on America. Yeah. But they did that to us, saying, look at Jerusalem. Go ahead. Yeah, and uh, the Ayatollah said something similar to that back when they had those uh, race riots mm -hmm. in Charlottesville a while back. He was like, you need to solve your own problems in America. Mm -hmm. They hiss and wag their head 
at the daughter of Jerusalem, yeah. saying, is this the, the city that men call perfection of beauty? Yeah, and even no matter where we go and what place, people is uh, Jerusalem is people for this place, they hiss at us saying, is this the perfection of beauty? Mm -hmm. They put us on TV, drug dealers, criminal uh, criminals, uh, 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 torturers, you know, they call us out for all that. Go ahead. Uh, the joy of the whole earth. The joy of the whole earth. You know, is this what the Most High is talking about? You know, how could these people be uh, anything, any of good thing, man? Go ahead. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Yeah, the enemies, they even made a confederacy against us in Psalms. Saying, damn, mm -hmm. let's cut them off from being a nation. So, yeah. Jerusalem, I mean, Israel will be no longer in remembrance. And that's the whole world, man. Yeah. All these nations, man, they came against us, man. They came together. To, that's like that's like uh, jumping somebody, you know. Mm -hmm. You got one guy, and then you got twelve other guys coming and say, "Hey, man, let's just jump them after school and shit." Yeah. They all get together and shit and gang up on you and shit. Mm -hmm. That's how these nations did our nation, man. Yeah. Okay, and still to this day, mm -hmm. yeah. doing the same thing, man. And the Most High give you a list of who's on the yeah. Um, there you go. You know, to let you exactly know who did it. <laughs> go ahead. They hiss and gnash the teeth. Yep. Yeah. They say we have swallowed her up. We have swallowed Jerusalem up. Go ahead. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. And who they put above Jerusalem? The harlot. America. A harlot. That's why women become harlots. Because Jerusalem didn't used to be harlots. You know? But in our, in our imperfection, in our downfall, our women become harlots. Now they're putting a spotlight on us and saying, is this what the Most High is talking about? But yet, y'all the harlot starters. Right. Y'all the ones that start our women to be harlots, man. You know? Go ahead. Yeah, they giving our people, our women rights to be slurs, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. just out there, you know, able to walk out there with their ass out, titties out, man. Mm -hmm. That should be a crime, man. Yeah. For a woman to go out there with her whole ass out mm -hmm. and her all her cleavage showing, man. Yeah. That should be a crime, man. Because what is that inciting, man? That's just inciting men to lust, man. Yeah. Okay? Because remember, they put Kobe Bryant out there, and when he cheated on his wife, but, so, when so when you when he separate, when they separate, because they, they, the, the, the magnifying glass got put on, now she can sleep with a, an, any other men and, and keep sleeping with men over right. and over again. So they, they call that. So, but Kobe can't go out and have his. But she could give it given to one man to the next man and other men and all that. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's that's another thing they hate that we can have more than one woman. They'll make you trapped in your own house dealing with a damn uh, a demon woman. And you could you know, you could have more than one wife. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that keeps the other women in line. Yeah. You know? That that lets them know and keeps that jealous spirit of off of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep them grounded, yeah. man. Knowing that it's oh, okay, shit. Another woman can can actually do that. What I need to exactly. do for him, so I better do my best. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We're just saying the scripture. Let the younger, older women teach the yep. younger women. Yeah. So you got you might have like two older women as wives, and uh, as wives, and then you get two younger women as wives, and they teach her their, your your other wives. Right. You know. Of concubines too, yeah. of women of the other nations. Mm -hmm. Esau don't like that, but in his richness, he can make us our uh, women sluts. Nobody said nothing. Have a slut walk. Yeah. Let our women uh, parade themselves, ass out, but but booty naked and shit. They yeah. could be lesbians and all that. As soon as we say the righteousness about what they supposed to do in their order, oh, it's all hell out broke loose. Mm -hmm. Now Esau like we the man, um, women beaters and all that. Right. Women have rights. They have rights. They can do just as much as a man can do. Yeah. You know, they exactly. have the same rights as men do. If men can sleep around, then women can too. Yeah. But according to nature and just according to their own body, man, that is unsanitary, man, for a woman to, to have more than one man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're seeing the effects of that now. You know, putting these women equal to men. Yeah. They create all these feminist laws. Uh, child support, child and support, all that, man, getting screwed over. Yep. You know, women ain't supposed to be ruling nothing. Cause what happens when they do rule? You know, government on their side, court on their side. Go ahead. We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is 
the day that we look for. Yeah, they look for that day. You know? They got it. Go ahead. We have found it. We have seen it. We found it and seen it. But uh, in, uh, Revelation 12 and 10, so they accuse, this is the accuser of our, our brethren, man. You know? That's why any time they put us on the news, you know, George, they, they, uh, George Floyd, they, pretty soon they going to do something with that. Like, you know, he had going to his uh, personal uh, uh, family, uh, personal uh, life, he was this, he was that, he was a, mm -hmm. he carried guns, he, he was, you know, his old pictures with him hanging with niggas and shit when he was young right. and shit, you know. Right? Yeah, come to find out, uh, yeah, that guy, George Floyd, was not an upstanding yeah, citizen. Yeah, he wasn't upstanding. <laughs> Bad grades, he didn't, Right. you know, accuse our brethren, so now, it, what, it's justified now? Right. Fuck out of here, man. Go ahead and steal blood. Steal blood. People from the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was you know? a governor, I forgot which state, you know, he recently resigned because he said in the email that, like, all the black people that got killed by the cops weren't good people. Right. So yeah. basically justifying the cop mm -hmm. killing them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, yeah. So what about America, though? And, yeah. and the fact that, what was his, what was his crime? Uh, forging a check? Mm -hmm. You know, no, no, uh, uh, counterfeit money. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to have been counterfeit money, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, didn't America get this place by stealing it? Mm -hmm. Isn't this stolen land? Mm -hmm. Have they given back the land to the Native Americans who they stole the land from? Did they give it back? Or, or are we still on stolen land and, and now they're enforcing laws, their own laws. They're enforcing laws, thou shalt not steal. Mm -hmm. But everything that they got, it, they stole it. What kind of mess is that, man? Is that hypocritical or what? Yeah, you the uh, the they, uh, Jake trying to get retaliation for what happened. I for I isn't that how Esau work? Mm -hmm. He take Jake to jail, uh, give him life sentence, three life sentences, yeah. charge him as an adult. He can only he probably be nine years old. Charge him as an adult. Yeah, that's you know? easy for yeah. for him to do yeah. with no mercy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, no compassion at all. No compassion, man. You know, it's I'm just seeing this this one old guy's in prison. He's been in prison from since 1982 for stealing uh, something I believe worth nine dollars, something like that, and they gave him a life sentence mm. for yeah. nine dollars. Mm. Okay, he's still in jail. That's wickedness, man. Wicked hell, man. So the Lord is going to visit these damn mm -hmm. devils, man, for yeah. doing all that shit. They think they got away. With just treating us like subhumans. Mm -hmm. They're not humans because the word human me comes from two words, hue and man. Hue meaning color. Mm -hmm. They don't have any color, man. Mm -hmm. Their skin is translucent. It's like clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, without color, their blood show forth through their skin. They're the only ones like that. Right. So Everybody, they're not human. They're not human. Everybody else is melanated. Right. What happened? You know? That's that mark. That's that mark. You getting that's you getting exposed. Yep. Saying this is the enemy. Cause you know we we they used to call us Africans. They people mix us up with Africans. We used to be mm -hmm. under the Egyptians. You know, the dark nations again. No, most I said, point you out, put that that mark on you. Right. Now we know who the enemy is. Exactly. Go ahead. So Revelation 12, 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength. In the kingdom of our power, yep. and the power of his of his uh, anointed, mm -hmm. for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Yeah, once this uh, devil is cast down, that's it's going to be a, a perfection of beauty. It's going to be Israel in the state. Mm -hmm. It's going to be after the Most High take them down through Yahweh Shai the angels with the chariots. We going to be put in that place, man. Right. Because it's it's just it's just like either this or that. Either Jacob or Esau, all these other nations in between. They just random, they just extras. extras. China, just, just because it's China, got everything made in China here, and they they got power and nuclear tech. That don't mean they, they the next on the list to be right. up. Right, the Lord made them to, to do that, exactly. to be able to uh, create Brothers. all the things for this yeah. place, man. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Go ahead, all that technology that China's coming with, robots right. and shit. That ain't gonna come to not. Yeah. What the fuck is a robot? Yeah. 
robot malfunction all the time. Yeah. Wires mixed up. They want you to have sex with a robot. Yeah. You get in there and that goddamn thing screech up on your shit. Yeah. It malfunction and shit. Got your shit, off, and, shit and then got cut your it, balls and it's not. squeezing it and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck your shit up. Yeah. China thinks they're gonna be the next one to rule. Russia thinks they're gonna be the next mm -hmm. one to rule. It's yeah. Like, nah, Y'all nah. done. Y'all done. The world is done, man. This is the end. This is the Lord. Even though Esau thinks that he's, you know, orchestrating this thing by, you know, send the marshal, send the troops in, do this, do that. That's the Lord working on the king's mm -hmm. mind, man. Yeah. The Lord ruleth in the kingdom King of, of men. men. All right? And give it Not them men. Yeah. Exactly. When men lie down, he giveth them instructions in their minds. That right. They, even if they have dreams. Of, a, uh, of an idea most high put in their heads to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, I got a perfect plan. You know, you got mm -hmm. uh, Einstein. I woke mm -hmm. up and I had the perfect plan, the dream of a perfect plan. Let's do this new world order. Most high put that in his yeah. head to do that, yeah. man. Yeah. Come on, man. And then, because how you going to make a, a, a device, a nuclear device, that's able to destroy everything? That you work for. Yeah. Yeah. If, if that nuclear device goes off, it's going to destroy everything. Everything. What's the point of making that? Right. But that's how you know Most High made it to make him make that, to make <laughs> put it in his mind to make that, destroy himself. Yeah. Because we're going to be, Most High willing, we're going to be up in the chariots. Right. Lord, we, we ain't going to hey, be here. <laughs> like you say, bro, they got all those um, ICBMs, they're in the, in the silos right now. Mm -hmm. And if those things blow up, man, yeah. they could they could ruin their whole country. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But like you say, that's the most highest work, man. Mm -hmm. He's the one that sanctioned them to build this. He's the one that created the Smith to yeah. blow the coals in the yeah. fire to bring forth that instrument, mm -hmm. man. So that's how you know everything is going toward prophecy, man. Yeah. Nothing is out of line. Nothing is out of whack, man. And you know, man is imperfect, right? Mm -hmm. But this is the perfect instrument to destroy a place like this, man. That's how you know Most High is behind it. It's the yep. perfect instrument. It ain't about no arrows and war and all that. Mm -hmm. No shields and bucklers. It's about right. destroying this place permanently with fire, man. Yep. What, what could, what, no man can muster that up to have that happen unless it was Most High behind it, man. Go ahead. Where the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Yeah, Esau. He was our brethren, man. Mm -hmm. It was. He broke the brotherly covenant. Find out in Obadiah. He was, we was twins in the womb, mm -hmm. fraternal twins. He came, uh, uh, you know, came out red, hairy, red, uh, all over like in hairy garment. Mm -hmm. And he had different mannerisms, you know. Man of the he, field. Man of the field. Yep. He's a cunning hunter. He pursued his brother Jacob, right. mad because he got the, sold his birthright. Yeah. Mad because of the birthright. Was a light on his brother say he supplanted me this two times, but he said, "Well, what shall this birthright do to me? Right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm faint to die, whatever." He cried for his, cried for his blessing. For a blessing, got you a know? blessing from yeah. Isaac. He got a couple of blessings. Couple he got of blessing. the, the 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 ruling of the whole earth. He got the dominion of the whole earth because he could go around the whole earth and got his embassies everywhere yeah, yeah. he can go around and get all the women mm -hmm. you know women they love his crusty ass yeah, and shit yeah. and he has the sword and that's what that's why he's able to do it because he got the sword most high said you can have this blessing dwell in the fatness of earth but you're gonna have to rule with the sword to do that yeah because you can't do he if he was physically without that sword and he tried to go around the world, earth to dominate it you get your ass whooped yeah and these and these melanin netting nations will run your ass up to the caves like they did back then yeah. Yeah. So the Most High had to give you an instrument to where nobody could touch you. For then a time. he put a put a clause in there: He who lived by the sword shall so die, die by, by the sword. sword. And he that killeth with the sword must, must be, be killed, killed with, with the, the sword. sword. Yeah, and he had the longest dominion out of everybody so far. Yeah. You know, yeah. Greeks, Greeks, Romans, Romans. Yeah. the Renaissance up to today. Yeah, he had a good time. Good old time. The the fifties and the was the, 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 the height of y'all. Yeah, y'all's yeah, fifties yeah, times. <laughs> Yep. Well, that's when Abba Bivens kind of got uh, in the 60s uh, mm -hmm. through the 70s. That, that, that's when the time of this kingdom was falling, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the truth came out. They went out in space, man. The Lord, yeah. The space. Lord Orbit. Yeah. Orbit. Yeah. And you remember in, uh, what was it? I think it was around 1970 when they made that, um, when they made that sitcom Happy Days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You Happy know what Day. I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. they, they, days, they yeah. 
they put it back to like the fifties. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I'm they saying? Did. They put yeah. it back, but it's all it was already like the seventies, but yeah. they put it back to the fifties and said, Happy days. Happy this day. this is when it was happy and shit. Yeah. The mama was at home, mm -hmm. the daddy, he yes. went to he went to the to the job. They had, you know, enough money, enough mm -hmm. food. Yeah, they had a big house, good. Yep. economy good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They had them nice cars. Yep. And if you listen to that song, um <laughs> land back off you. Every day was a happy day. Monday, Tuesday, right. happy day. Wednesday, Thursday, happy day. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, happy day. The weekend's yeah. here. Yeah. You know? It was fun <laughs> all through that movie. You know, beaches exactly. and parties yep. and shit. Yeah. You know? But now, he don't mind, he, they wearing masks talking about. Yeah. Hey, you're on my, he's bothering me, this African American. They yeah. ain't on the beach and happy no more. Man. Yeah. They're trying to make America great again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he means by that. Taking it back to those 20s, 30s, 50s. Mm -hmm. But they're not yeah. feeling the effects of being America ma being made it great again. Then, then these so called white people are scared, man. Yeah. They buying bullets and shit. Every time they see a Negro, oh, he's, yeah. he's, 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 he's looking suspicious. Right. <laughs> that's your own shadow. That's your own conviction of your own soul, what you did to the Negro, Latino, Native American. Most high putting your own, he look, make you look in the mirror your own uh, 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 abominable ways, man. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. That's a ghost. Most high allowing a ghost to chase your ass. Yeah. But it's going to happen for real through his men. Go ahead. Hey, and for them to say, it's a lot, bro. For them to say to make America great again, mm -hmm. that must that implies that America is not great anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's done. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's them admitting it. Mm -hmm. They put it on a big red hat and make yep. it great again. Yep. That's that's and, uh that's pleading. Yeah, and they can't get that back. Cause mm -hmm. they want that feeling yeah. of America being it can't be it, it can't be no banners no more. Hey, that's like a that's like a crackhead trying to chase that first high. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's what they say. Exactly. They be that's always it. chasing that yep. first high. You always know? chasing that dream. Yeah. Go ahead. When the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Which is cute. He's cast down. Go ahead. Uh, for the accuser of our brother is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Yeah, he accused us before our power day and night. The accuser of our brethren, he's going to be cast down. Look at him. They're always doing something up to no good. Mm -hmm. He's bringing the drugs in, and he, he, he blame us for doing the drugs. He's, he's pushing us into oppression to depend on things of that nature because right. he know the it says the flesh is weak it says that in the bible right. so you can't blame israel like like the most high can because most high know where we come from he know we come from a spiritual place he know that what that kind of order he set up with the levites and mm -hmm. he know you know the most high know us you don't really know us like that you are we're our brethren but you don't know us like the most high mm -hmm. so you try to Blame us according to these fleshly ways. When the Most High said, "Hey, He can bring us back," because yeah. He know He know we you could be deceived by this hologram shit. He know you the flesh is weak, so He gonna give us the spirit to not be deceived no more. Right. You know, because exactly. this flesh is deceived. Jake is out there riding because he's deceived by the fleshly things, Pro fleshly protesting, arms, carrying uh, guns. They ain't gonna do shit. You know, but that's the way Jake is going. So the Most High is stopping all that. So we're going to close up with uh, um, last scripture. Um, it's a good scripture to follow up. Got to have a closer. Babylon is falling. Oh, uh, Revelation. Babylon is falling. Uh, did we get that one? Babylon is fallen. Mm -hmm. She has come to the end of Revelation. No, we didn't get that one. That's Revelation. A yeah. Revelation, which which is uh, is that eighteen? Mm -hmm. Babylon is fallen. Babylon is fallen. I'll just get this one right. Yeah, I'll just get this one right quick until y'all find out. Um, just, um, this is Jeremiah 51 and. Okay, 18. 
So Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, mm -hmm. having great power. Yeah. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Mm -hmm. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen. Go ahead. It's fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. Yeah, this modern day America is going to fall and become the habitation of devils. Man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the whole hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. We, yep, we read that in another scripture. Like, is this going to become a desolation, a desert of, of wild creatures, or uh, creeping, crawling things, man, because it's going to be totally destroyed. Go ahead. For all nations have drunk the wine of the, have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The wrath of her fornication, man, it's wrathful to drink that, because you, you get, you get done in with that wine. Go ahead. And the earth hath committed fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich. They wax rich off this place. Go ahead. And through the abundance of her delicacies, yep. through the abundance of her delicacies, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, yep. that ye be not partakers of her sins. Yep. Is that it? And that you receive not of her plagues. You receive not because there's plagues coming to this place. So how are we going to get out of here is them chariots, man. Mm -hmm. Being called up, beamed up out of here. You can mock all you want. Beam me up, Scotty, and yep. beam me up, Blackie, all you want, man. But yep. we ain't going to be a part of this kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. this, this place called Babylon, which is confusion. We mentioned why it's called Babylon. Yep. The link between, you know, the old Babylon and this Babylon, how it's going to be destroyed the same, man. Even worse. We at the end, man. You know. Yeah, they can say we crazy for thinking that there are chariots, you know, flying saucers, you know what I'm saying? Aliens, you know. They could say we crazy all they want, man. But just like in the time of Noah, you know, and Noah was out there building that ark in the probably in the middle of nowhere, nowhere near no water. They call them crazy. They call them crazy. This fool out here building a damn boat ain't no water for a thousand miles, you know. Mm -hmm. But then when that when that drop of water hit on their face, and then another yeah. one, they were like, oh, shit, what is this? Water falling from the sky? Yeah. And yeah. then more and more and more. And then they start beating on the ark, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And it was shut. It was shut. Couldn't open it up. Man. Yeah. So they, like, as Danes and Noah said, mm -hmm. <laughs> they were drinking and uh, uh, eating, uh, and, eating drinking. and drinking, and drinking. marrying one into another. Mm -hmm. Into the time of... That Noah into the ark is gonna be like it's like this now, yep. to where they can get them flood in the missiles, mm -hmm. and our people two thirds is gonna do it all the way until the missiles come. Yep, until the Lord beam us up. Beam Lord, us up, we, man. Lord willing, we of that number. Yep. So you know? it's been an episode, man. Babylon is falling, and it's gonna be half falling, cause it's gonna, you know, in the spirit world is falling, mm -hmm. but it's gonna play out in the physical world. So right. we hope you brothers been edified, man courage to keep on. Been another episode. You're giving all praise to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders once again. And uh, salutations to the brothers who work for our flag. Shalom. 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 Yeah, I don't know why my thing went out quick, man. Probably got to erase some stuff. Yeah.